Hello friends, now let's solve the max points on a line problem. This is a math problem. Given n points on a 2D plane, find the maximum number of points that line on the same straight line. Uh, the question seems very simple. Let's see the example. We are given 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 3. It is obvious that these three points are on the same line, so we just return 3. And when we given the more points in the example two, we can find the these four line of uh, four points share the same line, so we just return four. How do you think about this problem? Well, uh, I believe you already learned some mathematics in high school that check if any three points. Uh, Collinear is to use uh, to calculate their slope. So in this case, we will use y three minus y two, uh, and divide uh, x three minus x two. Check if it is equal to the y two minus y one. Uh, divide uh, x two minus x one. But there is a problem that if we just use divide, then we will change int type to double typed. So uh, we will lose uh, precision. So the simplest uh, approach is to multiply them. Check if they are equal. So it uh, uh, brings another problem that is the overflow. Because uh, if these uh, two ints are very large, uh, they are product will overflow. So the smart way is uh, in the beginning, we change them to the long. Another point is that uh, you see the question statement, they don't say it will not have duplicate uh, points, which I mean it, uh, it uh, is possible that the given input is one, 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 one. So we also return three. So we need to check if they are duplicates. So this is the three points we need to pay attention to. So now let's do it. First, we get the number of the points. If the total number of the points is less than three, which means we just return this n. Say if n is equal to one, it is obvious that the maximum number uh, line on the same straight line is one. If uh, is two. Uh, of course, uh, any two points are on the same line. So basically, we initialize the max to two, the same idea. Then we will try to uh, get the first uh, slope, which is start from one, i less than n i plus plus. So uh, we, we use a counter uh, to check the max points on this same line cut from zero because we then will count the points. And I said I will change that to long. The reason is that there may be some overflow. So x1 will be the points i minus 1 x long y1 will be points i minus 1 y and long x2 will be points x uh, i x and long y two will be points i y. First, we check if the two points are the same. So if x one equal to s two and y one equal to y two, they are the same, right? So in this case, we will just check if there are any other points the same as uh, they share the same x and y with uh, these two points, j less than n j plus plus. So um, if uh, the points j x equal to x1 and uh, points j y equal to uh, y1, in this case, you will see actually we will meet the same x1, y1, x2, y2, 
uh, in this for loop, so we count them. So at least the count will be two because we will meet them again. So we will count them two. We start from zero. Uh, okay, this is one situation. Another case that if these two points are not the same, we just uh, iterate the same. Uh, j less uh, j less than j plus plus. Uh, as you can see, we use the second points uh, y minus the uh, oh, the third points y minus the second points y. So if the uh, we let the j be the third point, j y minus y two. Okay, so if uh, uh, it times x. 2 right times x2 minus x1 if that equal to uh, y2 that will be y2 minus y1 times x3 which is the points j uh, sorry x okay x minus uh, x2 so x2 if the same, we just let the color plus plus. Uh, so the same as the previous for loop, we will meet these two points again. So we will at least count twice. And uh, each time we will update the max will be the max max and uh, this count. So finally, we just uh, return this max. OK. Thank you for watching. See you next time.